So what do we do about this Beale son of a bitch? I suppose we'll have to kill him. I don't suppose you have any ideas on that Diana. Well, what would you fellas say to an assassination? I think I can get the Mao Zedong people to kill Beale for us. It's one of their shows. In fact, it'll make a hell of a kickoff show for the season. We're facing heavy opposition on the other networks for Wednesday nights, and the Mao Zedong Hour could use a sensational opener. It could be done right on camera, in the studio. We ought to get a fantastic looking audience with the assassination of Howard Beale as our opening show. Well, if Beale dies, what would our continuing obligation to the Beale Corporation be? I know our contract with Beale contains a buyout clause triggered by his death or incapacity. There must be a formula for the computation of the purchase price. Offhand, I think it was based on a multiple of 1975 earnings with the base period in 1975. I think it was 50% of salary plus 25% of the first year's profit multiplied by the unexpired portion of the contract. I don't think the show has any substantial syndication value, would you say, Diana? Syndication profits are minimal. We're talking about a capital crime here. The network can't be implicated. I hope you don't have any hidden tape machines in this office, Frank. Well, the issue is, shall we kill Howard Beale or not? I'd like to hear some more opinions on that. But I don't see we have any option, Frank. Let's kill the son of a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. How do you feel? We're mad as hell, and we're not going to take this anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, the Network News Hour with Sybil the Soothsayer. <laughs> And here's It's the Emma's Truth Department. <laughs> Miss Matahari and her skeletons in the closet. <laughs> Tonight, another segment of Vox Populi. <laughs> and starring the mad prophet of the airways, Howard Beale. Network News Anchorman on the UBS Network News Show, known to millions as the Mad Prophet of the Airwaves, was shot to death tonight in a fusillade of automatic rifle fire just as he began this evening's broadcast. We never compromise. So why should you? Can the dry mixers? Why compromise? Have you seen the other side of where you live? Don't you know that it's a great big lie and it's got so much to do? Mother country has got her arms open wide. The extraordinary incident occurred in full view of his millions of viewers. The assassins were members of a terrorist group called the Ecumenical Liberation Army, two of whom were apprehended. The leader of the group, known as the great Ahmed Khan, escaped. This was the story of Howard Beale the first known instance of a man who was killed because he had lousy ratings. By Gilles Spotswood, says there were reports of a great Ahmed Khan in Pennsylvania. Mr. Beale was shot to death in a fusillade of automatic weapons. The other members of the audience apparently gained no attention. The other members of the audience apparently gained no attention. The other members of the audience apparently gained no attention. The other members of the audience apparently gained no attention. The other members of the audience apparently gained no attention. Nobody seemed to know that he would make a statement that the operation is extraordinary. Now, neither substance of a deal with the killer is a seat along with everybody else. The police spokesman says the words of the 